Hello guys, this is one more question from GATE 2022, question number 25. It says, which one of the following modern practices is used for retarding the solution loss reaction in blast furnace iron making? So we have uh, given four options. So before uh, moving on to the options, let us try to understand what is the solution loss reaction. Okay. So solution loss reaction means that whatever carbon that you charge, okay, or carbon in the sense scope that we charge, while if it is reacting with CO2 while it is coming up, it will be forming 2CO, correct? So this is gas, this is gas, right? If this particular reaction is taking place in the upper stack region, Okay, so upper stack region is nothing but the topmost region of the blast furnace. Okay, and from where we get this particular CO2, so we know, so maybe I can just show you uh, a simple diagram of blast furnace so that you can understand this better. Okay, so here, this is my upper stack, correct? So that is where we charge our alternative layers of uh, coke and iron ore, right? And somewhere here we have our tears, correct? And we have our earth here. So, we know that there is a raceway over here where depending on the temperature and depending on the other variable factors, CO and CO2 will be formed, okay? And these gases, whatever gases are generated, they will be traveling throughout my blast furnace, correct? That is why we call it a counter current furnace, right? The charge will be, the input raw materials will be opposite to this particular glass flow, right? So, this is what you will be having. CO and CO2 gases will be formed and this is actually helping to reduce my, uh, you know, charged iron ores. Now, what I am telling you is, if this particular reaction is taking place at the uppermost region, what is happening? The coke that you are charging is actually immediately reacting with CO2 and it is forming CO gas. Of course, if the same reaction is forming somewhere here or here, it is fine because the CO will be actually utilized to reduce the ore layers just above them. But this reaction, if it is forming in the upper stack region, okay, in the topmost part of the blast furnace, what is happening? The CO will be formed, but the amount of CO that is escaping out will be very, very high. Or in other words, I can say that this CO that is formed in this particular region is not utilized much, you know, to its capacity to reduce the iron ore, okay? So, what we need to do, you need to, so that is why uh, it is called as a solution loss. So, this solution loss is actually incurring more cost to you in terms of coke. You need to add more and more coke because coke is getting co converted into CO and it is easily escaping out without involving in the reduction of iron ore, okay? So, that is what is called as the term solution loss, basically coke loss, okay, in simple terms. Now, how can we get rid of this? How can one, uh, you know, see that this is not happening? So, how you can do it is by increasing the gas flow, okay, inside the blast furnace. So, this should be our main motto. Why? Because if this is formed and immediately escaped out, that is a problem because, you know, that is uh, not helping in reduction of iron ore. But if you increase the gas flow inside the blast furnace, then automatically the contact time between the CO gas that you have and the iron ore particles will be more. Hence, the better will be the reduction. So, for that to happen, what one has to do is to form some kind of obstacle for this escaping gas. How can we do it? By various mechanisms we can do it, but the main motto is to provide some top pressure. So, this is called a very, uh, you know, high top pressure. Okay. So, if you actually have or maintain this high top pressure, what happens is that whatever CO that is forming in, because of this pressure over here, it cannot escape out easily. Because this guy, this pressure here that you are providing is resisting the gas flow outwards. 
okay so in that sense you can actually increase the resident time or gas flow inside the furnace even if there is some solution loss reaction therefore the one of the most modern you know um, practice people are doing in order to control this is high top pressure so the answer is option a high top pressure will help you to reduce the solution loss reaction of course other are also modern practices but they have their own you know uh, functions like bellless top is used for uh, you know even charge distribution pulverized coal injection is used to reduce the costs or reduce the coke consumption you know rotating chute is again for proper even distribution throughout all the rings of the blast furnace so high top pressure is the main modern practice in order to control the solution loss reaction and in order to control the coke rate in a particular blast furnace so i hope uh, this concept is clear thank you for watching mm -hmm.